For Virgo, welcome to your weekly general reading. This is going to be for the sign of Virgo. It is not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Virgo placement that resonates with you. There may be also messages that will resonate. Personal reading information, any jewelry seen, all linked and listed in the description box. At the end, we will pull some oracles, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. Otherwise, Virgo, we are jumping right in. The reading is aimed for February. The time is elusive. Whenever you are drawn to the reading is usually when it's meant to be heard. For Virgo, most important messages for Virgo, what do they need to know? Messages for their greatest and highest good. What do we have for Virgo this week? And the sun just came out. That could be significant for you, Virgo. The sun's about to shine on you. That's nice. What do we have for Virgo? I do only take jumpers, so I appreciate your patience <laughs> in advance. First card out, Sagittarius energy. This has been coming out a lot. Temperance card, major arcana for Sagittarius energy. Patience, um, balancing, divine timing, divine intervention. All could be significant for you in the past here. Might have been waiting or kind of just some sort of alignment that was that was happening okay that's a bit much the tower card scorpio energy major arcana we also have the ace of pentacles we have the world card another major arcana the five of wands five of swords sorry the five of cups two fives so there is some changes getting ready to happen here a major arcana the lover's card gemini energy could be important bottom of the deck is the knight of swords air sign energy could be relevant to you gemini libra or an aquarius but there's something that's getting ready to happen fast here fast happenings here for you virgo could be something that is said could be some sort of information that reaches you or information that you are giving kind of fast off the whim off the top of your head kind of not really you know not really thinking, but I do, this is movement happening fast here. Maybe from a period of time that was very stagnant, boring, stale. I see the temperance in the world card here. So yeah, whatever sort of pause you've been at, whatever sort of um, quiet time that you've been having, it's all been in preparing you for something here. There's a new cycle that you are getting ready to enter. See how she's looking at this like, bye, see ya, deuces. Have a good one. <laughs> if you know, you know. Right? So there is something that you've been very patient for. Because there was a need to balance. Whether your emotions, your life, your mind. Divine intervention here with the fixed angel. Divine timing was at play. It looks like the time's getting ready to be happening. New cycle is coming in for you here. And it looks like things are going to be speeding up. A lot faster than things were happening before. The Tower card, Major Arcana, and the Five of Swords in your present position. The Five of Swords in this scenario is giving me um, automatic win because traditionally the Five of Swords mean oh, like there's no losing. There's not a chance that you could lose. Someone could have thought this because I am seeing the Five of Cups next to this. The Tower card is like sudden changes. Unexpected changes, things changing unexpectedly, things coming to an end, things shifting, things transforming out of nowhere. Something that seemed very stable. But it also was a card of change. So something is getting ready to change here big time. For some of you, this could have to do with some sort of relationship that you have with somebody. Because this Five of Swords and the Five of Cups is like... Someone might have thought that uh, they were, you know, you were never going to leave. You were never going to change. You were never going to get tired of their shit. And you did. You did. It took a long time. Temperance tells me it might have taken a while. You had a lot of patience with this person or situation. And you're kind of over it. I think you're just kind of over it. That could exactly be what this Knight of Swords is. You being over it. It's like you've been quiet for a very long time, taking the bullshit, trying to be patient, trying to be there, trying to be understanding. Trying to help bring balance to this this situation or person or relationship. And you're kind of over. It's like your top is blown. 
Your top is blown and you brought the whole shit down. You just brought it all down. That kind of uh, bottle under pressure sort of energy. And I don't think someone was expecting that. Could be your work, could be a friend, could be a lover. I don't think they were expecting that because you've been patient for so long. You've been so understanding and kind and forgiving for so long, but I think that shit's over. I don't think that's your mood anymore. <laughs> your mood is no longer temperance. You're coming like a wrecking ball. This is giving me wrecking ball vibes. Right? But it does tell me that you're on to new things. You're looking forward to new things, new partnerships. You're making a conscious decision here. Lover's card. This is a choice. You are making a different choice. You might have been making a particular choice for a long time. But now you're making a different choice. And I think it's very surprising to someone the choice that you're about to make, the changes you're about to in input, the things you're about to say. Because I do get you're going to say them. No holds bar. Yeah, you're on, to, you're on to new things. You're looking for new things. You're making the choice to put your energy into something new. You could already have your eye on something new. There could be something that is already giving you potential vibes. But whatever it is, it's worth taking the chance on. Rather than continuing to invest in whatever that is, this is. You've given the situation a lot of patience already. Time for a change. Heavy on the change energy with the two fives and the tower card. You are exercising your free will to get the hell out of Dodge. Someone's going to regret it though. Shoulda, woulda, coulda energy with the five of cups. Someone's going to regret it. They took your kindness for weakness is the vibe that I'm getting. Because this is very much you. This is high vibrational Sagittarius energy. Bottom line. Virgo, sorry. You have been harnessing. You could have Sagittarius in your chart. Sagittarius reading could be significant because Sagittarius energy has been coming up a lot. But you are exercising your free will. And you're making the choice to leave this sort of cycle in the past. Whoever thought that you couldn't leave, you're proving them wrong. You're on to new things. Very clearly on to new things. Some of you, it's a job. A job that they were taking a lot of advantage of you. And you just woke up one day and said, you know what? <laughs> Burn the building down. I'm done. I'm very much done. Let's get the let's get the oracle. Oracles. You're gonna say what you need to say and you're gonna move forward. One, two, three, four major arcanas here. This is long overdue. This is big stuff. This is gonna change the vibration of your reality. It really is. It's gonna show the universe that you mean business. You 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 take yourself seriously. Okay? A time for healing. Yeah, could be a, a trauma wound that uh, this is this is manifesting to heal. This is how it's healing. That need, that this is the healing for. Long time coming though. The temperance has given me long time coming. It's been a long time coming. You also have fixed sign energy here. So you have Gemini, Sagittarius, and Scorpio energy. Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, fixed sign energy, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Which we are currently in Aquarius season, so this could be happening now. What is this? Hawk spirit. Let spirit be your guide. Number 32, which is a five. Another five. So you now have three fives. That's why all this angelic energy is here. So it's like if you're not going to make the choice, the universe is going to make the choice for you. Okay? Because they don't want... This is not justice. This is not in balance to you. This is not... This is not for your highest good. They, they're trying to get you to get it together somewhere else. For some of you, it could be an actual other partnership or another job that pulls you away, that finally gets you to leave. But the lovers and the Ace of Pentacles here could be something else that finally, you know, in comparison to what you got, it ain't shit. What you got ain't shit in compared to what this new thing is, is, is offering you. What do we have from the Virgo? For Virgo. So, someone will regret. Someone will re regret. They're going to be very surprised by this course of action. You deserve rest. Seriously. Take a break. Yeah. Yeah. That is your reading, Virgo. Hopefully it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Leave me a comment. If it does, I will see you guys next week.